born into a family of master thieves, an orphan Sly Cooper and his trusted crew uphold an ancient family code. Only by stealing from a master criminal can you call yourself a master thief. Sly Cooper in The Heart of the Thief. Monaco, 8.52 p.m. Nightfall. Behind every fortune is a crime, and behind the best crime is a great team. That's what Dad used to say. Ah, this is when I miss him most. Being a thief, darkness can be your greatest ally. That, and a couple of trustworthy friends. The key to success is a quiet entry. Bentley, you there? I'm in position. I can see Dimitri's mansion. Well, I'm here, but I don't like what I'm seeing, Sly. Not one bit. The grounds are crawling with guards. Okay, then. I'm going for the roof. Uh, at least it's what I'm good at. But of course, my dear. Anything for you. Oh, my sweet. Dad would have been proud of that move. Whoa, not one of my best landings, but it'll have to do. Nice pad for an art school dropout. Dimitri, you may be rich, but you're not too bright. Meanwhile, in the Grand Ballroom. Oh yes, I couldn't agree more. And that's why my husband owns Grubbinit. Well, what a tale. Oh, my precious. Even the finest art cannot compare to you, my dear. The world is taken by our storm. Oh, my beautiful Dimitri! You are my most treasured work! Look at this party! It's like we own Monaco! Anyone who is anyone is here! Including Carmelita Fox! So happy you accepted my invitation, Inspector! How could I say no? It's my pleasure, Mr. Wanko. Don't you just love our most glorious collection? I feel so much better with you on watch. Yes, money can buy the best of things, but what good is money without someone who really knows how to spend it? My fiancé has a unique vision for treasures. I don't know how he does it. Must be your charm, Angel. Allow me to introduce you to the real reason you're here. I've presented him with the world's most valuable engagement gift. The Venus de Huelo! Wow. It's... uh... is impressive. Must be like looking into the mirror for you, my portly sausage. This statue means the world to me. It's going to be safe tonight, right, Inspector? Mr. Winko, tonight is a night of celebration. No need to worry. Your statue is safe with me. Hmm, better be, Foxy. That's the only reason I be marrying this annoying pile of pork. Back upstairs. When will they ever learn? Just because it's secure on the ground, doesn't mean that's the only way in. What party it is down there. Shame we're stuck up here. I wouldn't want to be down there with the snobby rich folk. Ain't that right? Wait a minute. They're not security. <gasps> Who's there? He's seen us. Get him, boys! Intruder, boys! You're not playing very nice, boys. Forging fine art? Now that's low. I'm not finished yet! Whoa! Artists can be so sensitive. I can't spend much time up here. Gotta keep on schedule. Wow! No wonder these guys weren't on the registry. They're working off the books. Harboring some pent-up anger. Why don't you let me help you release some of that rage? Uh, my endoplasmic reticulum! Uh. <coughs> oh. Should have stuck to making your own art. 
All right, back to schedule. I didn't come here to teach the ethics of stealing art. Bentley, the upstairs quadrant has been compromised. Switching to plan B. You copy, Bentley? Hey, upstairs is restricted. Plan B. Come here, punk. Copy that, Sly. Sly? Sly! Back at the main gallery. Monsieur Dimitri, Mademoiselle Oinkow, excuse us, please. What's the problem? And it's Dwanko, thank you. There has been a security breach upstairs. The intruder has been apprehended. He's being held in the attic. He fits the description of Sly Cooper. S Sly Cooper? Here? A great work, fellas. Let's beat it, shall we? The party be swinging. Inspector, I insist. The situation is being dealt with proper. Let's roll. My apologies, Monsieur Dimitri, but I have waited years to bust that ring-tailed rat. Ah, uh, Inspector! Uh, now it's really dangerous. You really should stay with the party. A real criminal? How intoxicating. Oh, I've been waiting for this day. Ah, uh, since we both can't be flaking on the soiree, I'll best be checking just to see that things are grooving. Always sinking, Pumpkin. See you soon. Freeze, Cooper! An art studio. Paint? Easels? Canvases? This looks like... No! Can it be? Dimitri? A forger? Sure seems that way. Which one of these men is Sly Cooper? None of them, Beverly. It appears those security guards have misled us. <sighs> Why is it we always seem to fall for men's lies? Where are you going, Inspector? It can't be too far. Interpol! Nobody move! No! That no good! Low down! Rotten! Lousy! Thief! Outside, in a hidden back alley. Great work, fellas. The statue is ours. Now that's what I call a great team. Murray, we couldn't have done it without you. No big deal. Happy to lend a hand. <sighs> Just like my dad always said. If you don't have a plan B, then you don't have a plan A. Given the weight of the statue, it's sure a good thing we went with B. What's the matter, Bentley? Well, I hope you have a plan C. Because we ran 12 minutes and 37 seconds over schedule, Sly. Which means we have to wait for the next boat. Which doesn't leave for 45 minutes. 45 minutes? We are burnt out, man. Inspector Fox will have found us by then. She'll be all over us. Don't worry, boys. I'll keep her busy. You guys just get the van on that boat. 45 minutes, Sly. 45 minutes! I bet Sly put us over schedule on purpose so he could flirt with her again. Time to steal one more thing. Lil Sly in The Cookie Connection. As thrilling as every job is, nothing comes close to the excitement of one of our first capers back in the good old days of the orphanage. Though I guess those days never were that good, and they sure got old quickly. We even got into trouble together, sneaking into mean old Miss Puffin's office to swipe her cookies. She was so nasty, we swore to make sure she never got to finish those cookies. Of course, Bentley came up with the perfect plan. Sly! I read you, Bentley. Let's do it. We just had to wait for that right moment, and those cookies were ours. As I waited in my hiding spot, I knew that somewhere, my dad was looking down at me and smiling. Haste makes waste, and gets you wasted, he used to say. Bentley, you there? Come in. All I had to do was keep my head. Bentley, this is Sly. 
Do you read me? I'm in position. Excellent! My ingenious communicator is flawless! As long as you hold on to your end, we'll be in a constant contact! And with my advice, you can't fail! Begin Operation Cookie Connection! Of course, I ended up having to do all the heavy lifting. But even at that age, timing and planning was everything. Okay, Bentley. Everything is set. You don't have the cookies yet! Abort the mission! We're running out of time! There was no way that I was going to let the guys down. The trick of Benley's plan was to make it look like we were never there. I kind of miss that in his plans these days. It's okay. I'm almost at the cookies. Just a few more. This didn't look so high from down there. We're out of time! Get out while you still can! Hold on, guys. Got him! Wait, is that you guys in the hall? I thought you were gonna wait outside. What do you mean? We are outside! Hey! Who's in there? Uh-oh. That must be scary John the janitor at the door. Scary John? I'm pulling the plug on this myself! I'll save you, Sly! Just leave it to me! Huh? Whoa! Bentley! How do you make this thing stop? Well, uh, I would recommend using the brakes, but, uh, that was my project for next week! guys uh, you you okay just fine murray man are we lucky lucky we just crashed and failed the mission we definitely crashed lucky i inherited my dad's fast fingers dig in fellas yahoo not even a cookie jar can keep me out this must be the sweetest tasting fail mission ever huh guys Ah, <sighs> those were the days, all right. Speaking of, I've got a date to attend. Outside the mansion. Suspect, Sly Cooper. Appears to have entered the property through a skylight on the rooftop. But how he got up there and past the security still remains a mystery. The suspect seems to have exited through the service doors. Cooper always works with a team of two other thieves, both experts in the field. Tire trucks confirm a getaway vehicle. Suspects are headed towards the waterfront. I've gotta hand it to him. The guy's talented. It's a shame he's not working for the police. Now where would the fun be in that? Dios mio! Cooper! Inspector Fox, we really need to stop meeting this way. Besides... Me? Working with the police? We'd never get to have these intimate rendezvous, which you know I adore. My pistol! Relax. Never let him see you sweat. Got to distract him and find a way to get my pistol back. Cut the charming thief crap. I don't know who you think you are, or who you think you're dealing with, but this isn't some game! When you steal things, you're robbing hardworking citizens who toil every day for what little they have. Carmelita, you know I only steal from master thieves. I never take anything from the hardworking citizen types you love so well. So, when you think about it, we're already kind of on the same team. Ugh, don't get me started, smartass. Where do you think those criminals get their loot from, huh? They steal it from the common man. So I don't care where you think you sit on the food chain, you're still hurting innocent people and breaking the law. Oh, she's obsessed with me. Oh, he's obsessed with me. You're part of the problem, not the solution. You're bad news, Cooper. <sighs> it's always the good looking ones. I beg to differ. You remember the first night we met at the opera? Oh, I remember it like it was yesterday. How could I forget? 
Yeah, I like to leave an impression. You were pretty unforgettable yourself that night. Sly Cooper in a chase down memory lane. And could we have asked for a better place for our first rendezvous? Paris, the city of lights. Ah, the beauty, the romance. City of lights? <laughs> you were lurking in the shadows looking for your next score. Ah, contraire, madam. I was just enjoying some night air. Try your smooth talking charm on someone else, Cooper. You were on the roof of the Paris Opera House that night. I was merely taking in the architecture. Planning? How you were going to rob it blind? It was the biggest night of my career. All I had to do was secure the Paris Opera House and protect the David Diamond so Barkley could retire happy knowing he made the right choice. He didn't seem so happy. He was screaming at you the whole time. Screaming? He was excited for me. That's all. Oh, really? From what I heard, he didn't think you were up to the job. Hey now! Don't forget that my retirement rests in your hands, Fox! Hardly. He was singing my praises to everyone in the room. Don't be so casual! Miss Tuscanani is a hot target here! Your job is important! Assuring them that nothing could possibly go wrong on my watch. Rightfully so. You certainly caught my attention. <sighs> nice try. But I think you meant to say I caught you red-handed. Red-handed implies I was doing something wrong. Well, then I got you before you could do any more damage. I never had the chance to do any damage. I do recall we were interrupted by 24 cops playing Dogpile on the Raccoon. Not so fast, rat! End of the line! Dit pense mignon! Is my hair okay? Don't try to resist! What? I brought you down single-handedly, Cooper! Well, at least we can agree on one thing. I was captured. Slimy criminal! Hope you like prison food. Very, very soft arms. It's very pathetic. Did we get him? In fact, I let you catch me. Just so I could meet you. You're amazing. You're starting to believe your own lies. No lies, Carm. It's not every day I meet a gorgeous, smart, and talented fox like you. If you really wanted to meet me, then why did you escape and make me look like an idiot in front of my boss? You said you had Sly Cooper tied up like a present! Stop wasting my time, fox! Goodness me. And where's that masked bandit? I got lucky. The janitor happened to open the closet I was locked in. Oh, goodness. You okay? Do you have any idea how much trouble you got me into? I put my trust in you! Don't make me look bad! You're a disgrace to Interpol! Of course, and that's why I tried to help. Uh, help? I can't how? By not turning yourself in? There are better ways to help, Carmelita. Oh, right. Like stealing the Diva Diamond from the safe while I was busy tracking you down and ruining my career. <laughs> the diamond wasn't in the office safe. It was hidden in the costume jewelry all along. Pierre, the stage manager, went to snatch it in all the confusion. I actually did it! The confusion that was caused by you, Cooper. Come on. Didn't I help? Uh, yeah, yourself to the diamond. Uh. I never seen Inspector Barkley look so angry. And what a performance Miss Tuscan Annie gave. She really could hit that high note. But we both know who the real leading lady was. 
I let down the most powerful woman in the city and my mentor. Fox! You had one job! You've embarrassed me and all of Interpol! And yet, what good opera is complete without a surprise Oops. ending? How did you like that care package, by the way? I sent an extra special delivery, just for you. I didn't know what to think. What in the- Hmm. I would have preferred to have you behind bars. Holy mongoose! Me? Behind bars? But you already caught the real criminal, Pierre. And the finale. Oh, that look on your face as you read my calling card was priceless. That torn look between love and anger. A beautiful moment. I'll never forget it. So innocent. So cute. Innocent and cute. <laughs> Don't even think about patronizing me. I just call it like I see it. And what I saw was a real hero. Oh. Well, well, Fox. Uh, I knew I could trust you to handle things. <laughs> no need to thank me. Oh, he wants me. Oh, she wants me. That was a long time ago. Times have changed, Sly. I'm not the same naive rookie you first met. Oh, I can see that. Go ahead, reach for your gun. I've got nowhere to run on this bridge. I'm all yours. We both know I can't swim. Nowhere to run. This is fun, but it's time to go. Okay, let's see what you got. First to you, then Dimitri. No one escapes me. Don't worry, he'll look just as handsome and stripes, Ringtail. Now, put your hands behind your back as I... Where the... Did he jump? Hmm. He'll drown for sure. I've got to save him, I... Damn you, raccoon! I'm gonna get you, Sly Cooper! Mark my words, I'm going to get you! I'll miss you too, Carmelita Fox. <laughs> Until we meet again. The end? Quite a stir you left Monaco in. Who's on the mic? My name is Arpeggio, and I have a proposition. A deal of sorts. A deal? Put your cards on the table, bro. What be this proposition? Dimitri, my dear boy, 
I have a job that I need done, and, well, I only know of one man with enough swagger to get it done. Say less. If elegance and flair what you need, you come to the right man. Oh, perfect. To be continued.